Now we want to take a look at Tropical Storm Grace. This cone, much of an improvement compared to the cone earlier this morning that had this right over southwest Florida. I noticed this with Elsa when a storm is moving pretty quickly. A lot of times the models are in error and the storm will actually move more south and more west. Well, the cone's already shifted south and west. We'll see if it continues. I think it will. But again, it is worth monitoring as we are still at least part of southwest Florida in the cone. 40 mile per hour maximum sustained wind right now. It has weakened. It was at 45 earlier today. And here are the model plots. Take a close up version following a similar track to Fred over Cuba, but then ejecting even more westward. So again, I don't think this one is going to do much here in southwest Florida, but maybe we'll get some rain from this come Thursday and into Friday. I don't think it's going to be a big wind event or any wind event, in fact. And this could even take a track south of Cuba. So we'll be watching this. You can see it looks pretty good on infrared satellite. You see these purples. These are colder cloud tops, meaning the convection a little bit stronger there.